my sister's bigger than that, so hopefully they got some mace or something. <laughs> What's up, Messy Mob? It's your girl, Messy Maya, and I am back again with another video. So today, we are going to be getting into some more mess chow. The fans are basically speculating that Tessiki only wants smoke and wants to beep with the people that are close to or associated with rock, friends with rock, however you want to put it. And they also feel like they may or may have not figured out the real reason why she wants smoke with Smiley. And everyone else she has tried to come for up until this point. Let's go ahead and get into it. Like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on that post notification bell so you know every single time I post a new video. Baby, it's Messy Maya. It's the Messy Mob. Girl, we are lit over here. Trust and believe that. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into it, baby. Now, so I know y'all remember a couple weeks ago when Tessiki did an interview and she spilled some tea. Some false tea, some lies, whatever y'all want to call it, child. Uh, you know what I'm saying? She woke up in the Lululand and swore up and down that Smiley was trying to jump her with Krishan. Baby, it was a whole lot of mess, child. Caused a whole lot of controversy online. Smiley responded. Let's go ahead and get into the initial interview and then we're going to talk about it. We're going we gonna to do that off the record. You can let me know that off the record. Yeah, but that girl. Yeah. And then that, that, no, I just want to say this though, because I can't. People keep talking about I'm fake, but not riding with her or some bullshit. And honestly, I swear, when I was on that sprinter, Sky, Camila, and Smiley, and the, and Krishan, and two other girls on it. Yeah. So I really feel like Smiley was hitting me too. But I just feel like they, the girl, the rest of the girls not saying nothing. Damn. Because when I say, I felt like four punch four different fists on my head. I'm very smart. I know what the fuck is going on. And, but it just was like, it was a lot going on. So when the shit was done, I straight asked Sky. I said, Sky, I know them two, Krishan and the little Spanish bitch was on me, but who else was it? Yeah. And she was like, huh? Like, And I was just like, who else was it? And she was like, oh no, I, she was the only thing I remember seeing was them two. So a part of me feel like, I uh, did see a clip of, Smiley pulling them. She was trying to pull them off of me. Yeah. But I feel like when she was pulling them, she was getting hit to me. I swear on everything. Okay. I feel like that. But that's just my own personal feeling. Yeah. And I just feel like when they see my strength, because even when I was done that night, Sky was like, oh, you put me in shock. I was just, because she said she, she was still stuck after. Child, so the fans were confused. Okay, we were confused because her and Smiley were in the house. They were doing TikToks together. They were cool. You know what I'm saying? Clearly not the best of friends, but you could tell Smiley kind of clung onto her a little bit. But, you know, she wasn't, she never opposed to it, child. So we was like, okay, so y'all was cool in the house. Why all of a sudden is you really just now saying this? Now, some people thought that she was trying to jump on the Smiley hate train because um, she basically said that around the time that the episode came out where they were quote unquote bullying smiley and jumping smiley child some people thought that you know she just wanted a moment she was trying to secure a spot for the next season some people felt like she was being picky choosy because she wanted to fight everybody but et child there were so many excuses child you know what i'm saying as to why she did <laughs> as to why she, uh you know what i'm saying there were so many excuses from the fans as to why she was doing this but a lot of people knew for sure like girl you're not telling the whole truth you're not telling the truth like you would we we know you at this point you would have been addressed it you beat up marsh and jay 12 hours after they jumped on you and you didn't address smiley and you and smiley were cool throughout the duration of the house throughout the duration of filming child so it was just a hot mess smiley even came online and basically said child she, it, it's, it's make believe it, it ain't true child it's not true Tiki knows i didn't put my hands on her she knows i didn't jump her she knows i didn't put her hair she knows all this clearly i don't know what is really I don't know what's going on with her. I don't know what she got a lie for. This is the Smiley Show. Welcome to the Smiley Show. Tyler Perry. I'm ready. So again, people were like, okay, so this is out of nowhere. Y'all were cool on the show. Y'all was on social media together making TikToks. 
Y'all were talking, venting to each other, you were there for her doing her alleged MC. All that stuff, this, that, and that, right? This, that, yeah. And then all of a sudden, you're coming out to, on this interview talking about how she jumped you. And how you knew all along, or had a feeling all along, that she jumped you. And then Tessa can change her story. First, she said that she felt Smiley punching her. And then she said that she felt Smiley. Well, then uh, she swished it up and said that Smiley was pulling her hair. So she told two different stories. So we're like, okay, so clearly, <laughs> no, like, you're not telling the whole truth. But that is besides the point. The girls have been trying to figure out, why, why are you doing this all of a sudden? You know what I'm saying? Like, why all of a sudden are you trying to try and smiley? What, what, like, what's really the issue? Like, are you trying to secure a spot for another season? You know what I'm saying? Are you trying to gain a storyline because you didn't really have a storyline throughout the show? You didn't really th- do much throughout the show besides be on Marsh and Jay? Like, what's T? What is T? You know what I'm saying? But then... Some people started to put two and two together. I don't know if it's true or not, but some people started to, you know, connect the dots. They were like, okay, so it's a pattern with you, sis. You're 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 kind of targeting the girls that are friends with Krishan. And they came to this conclusion when this video came out of Smiley and Krishan. All right, so me and Smiley's looking for the nearest mother hairstylist. Where the <laughs> where the fuck is the Yo. hairstylist at? Oh, no, like, we, where, is, where is it? Where? Where? Because we're going to come to you. So, child, like I said, the fans were not happy about this. They tried to put two and two together. And I guess, you know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and get into some of the comments. So, the first comment says, Tessiki, grow up. Quit looking for reasons to fight Smiley. Fight Roly. LOL. She actually deserves it. Someone else said, Krishan and Smiley have been cool. That is the real reason why Tessiki made an imaginary problem with Smiley. Anyone who's cool with Krishan, she start ish with for no reason. Why would Tessiki have a problem with Smiley for being around Krishan? Their other sister, Chastity, is also Smiley's friend. Chow, but on the other hand, some people did believe just from this video that Tessiki did get jumped by Smiley as well. Now, most of the comments were like, okay, girl, now it's kind of a pattern. Tessiki, you only want to fight Smiley because, yeah, she's friends, she's friends with Krishan. But there were, like, you know, a couple people on Tessiki's side. Let's get into these comments. So one says, imagine Rock shows up to the reunion and beats up to con shall y'all be the way y'all be messing up this girl's name is crazy anyways so the next one says leaking up over a common enemy will forever be corny to me now with that aspect i definitely do agree however tessiki has you know linked up with multiple of rock's ops so you know what I mean? but you know what i'm saying dude do we really blame her like she literally got set up and jumped by her sister like I don't know. I don't know. I think the whole dynamic and situation is weird. Me personally, I am just not about to link with my sister's ops or a problem or someone who has wronged my sister at some point. But I mean, they're, I don't know because it's just like, but my, at the same time, my sister never jumped me or got me jumped. But they've really been doing it on both sides. Marsh and Jay both jump uh, Tessiki. Krishan is still friends with them till this day, child. You know what I'm saying? Kuzo and Krishan of, uh, you know what I'm saying? They got into it over Blueface. Krishan got Kuzo snuck at the auditions. Tessiki linked up with Kuzo after she got, you know what I'm saying? After she got jumped or whatever. Smiley, child, Smiley was uh, clinging to Tessiki in the house knowing she was cool with Krishan the whole time. Girl, it's just a mess. The whole thing is just a mess, child. Oh my goodness. Who needs an enemy when you got sisters like this? Oh, God. Oh, it's just a lot. It's just a lot, y'all. And then last but not least, okay, the last one says, Smiley probably was hitting Seki. Seki. Shiki. Baby, yeah, like I said, girl, y'all need to learn how to spell that girl name. It is not hard. Anyways, so, l- child, let's go ahead and get into my thoughts, boo. Okay, so I feel, oh, wait. And it might be an unpopular opinion and y'all might not like it. But I still stand 10 toes down on what I said before. And y'all know if I feel like I'm wrong, I'm going to say it. But a big part of me still feels like Tessiki is lying. Like, I just do. Like, 
Smiley and Krishan were cool prior to the show, which in, in, in some way I feel like it would make sense if Smiley jumped in. I mean, I guess because her and Krishan were cool, but it's like you knew they were cool before the show even started. I feel like that's why Tessiki said that Smiley jumped her. That's what, I feel like that's why she said, because you knew they were cool the entire time. I feel like she knew it would kind of make sense or she felt like it made sense because they were already cool before that. But it's like, I don't think Smiley did that. I don't think Smiley is bold enough to do that. <laughs> I think y'all are giving her a lot of credit. I don't think Smiley is bold enough. I don't, I just don't, I just don't think so. I don't think so, baby. And, and, and again, the video the video did not, the video that Tessiki posted on her story as proof that Smiley jumped her was not proof. It, it literally didn't show anything. All it showed was Smiley pulling the girls off. It did not show Smiley hitting her. It did not show Smiley pulling her hair. Tessiki was damn near on, a, uh, on the whole other side of the sprinter, baby. So I just, I'm just not buying it, baby. The, like I said, the video, uh, quote unquote, proof that Tessiki posted on her story, trying to prove to her fans um, that Smiley did it, baby. It wasn't really, it didn't show nothing. It literally didn't show anything. It didn't show anything. I feel like she switched up her story. One minute she said, I, she literally said in an interview, I felt Smiley punching me. I felt her punching me. I felt her doing this. And then after, then when she actually seen the video and seen Damn well that Smiley was not doing that. She changed up her story and said, oh, yeah, she was pulling my hair. Because that's what, you know what I'm saying? It looked like Smiley was pulling. Not hair, though. Especially because, again, it, there's uh, the, the way Smiley's arms are, I'm sorry to tell you, I, I'm not trying to buy the shame. But, baby, they're, they're real big and stubby, bitch. <laughs> like a dinosaur. Like, you know what I'm saying? Her, she don't have long arms. The only way she would have been able to pull it off to actually pull Tessiki's hair at the at the positions that they both were in, because damn near we're on two separate sides of the uh, sprinter, baby, she would need long arms, like skyscraper arms, like Scotty, okay? <laughs> I, I don't even think Scotty's arms could have reached that far, baby. That's what I'm saying. So none of it still makes sense. Y'all y'all still trying to justify it again. I feel like... And I feel like y'all is giving Smiley too much credit because we all know Smiley is a picky, choosy hoe. She is a picky, choosy hoe. She got the drink, she got the drink thrown in her face by Rolly. Ain't do nothing. Still ain't get her lit back to this day, child. Rolly threw a whole drink on her over an MC that she had no idea about. She still ain't get her lit back, child. Sapphire wanted, you know what I'm saying? Sapphire wanted her fade. She turned down the fade, child. Even after. Sapphire took the chain off her neck the night before and had her on that floor swimming. Suki Hana was literally coaching Mariah Lynn on how to mop her all up and down the basement that night. She still ain't want no smoke. She, you know what I'm saying? I feel like she's very picky choosy. So I feel like they're giving her too much credit. I don't think Smiley is that bold to put her hands on Tessiki. <laughs> I, mean, I, I just don't, I, I'm not seeing it. I feel like y'all giving her too much credit. Also, Tessiki says that she felt like this all along. If you felt like this all along, why were y'all in the house cool together? Okay? Like, in, like you know what I'm saying? Like, in, in, in Smiley's face, oh, y'all making handshakes, y'all making TikToks, y'all talking like y'all cool, but behind Smiley's back, you're like, oh, me and her not even that close. She just likes to cling on to me. Which one is it? <laughs> Which one is it? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Because you don't, you don't be singing the same tune in her face. Not saying that Tessiki is scared of Smiley. I highly doubt it. You know what I'm saying? If she was scared of Smiley, she wouldn't be trying to fight her at the reunion, period. So I highly doubt that. And honestly, Tessiki just... The, the, the girl knows how to get down. I, I really don't think that she's scared of anybody. But it just doesn't make any sense. None of it makes sense. You chose to announce that very close to the reunion... After the season ended, not even right after the season ended, it would have made more sense if she would have came out with that information after the episode of her getting jumped released. She didn't do that though. I don't, child, just a mess. Anyways, child, that's all I gotta say. I feel like Tessiki's still lying. I just feel like Krishan and Smiley were honestly just being petty. They've been cool, and I feel like they were being petty. 
okay? And Smiley Girl, I'm finna get on you too. Because you, you real petty. I feel like you real vindictive at times. But you like to hide your hands when the girls come at you with the smoke. I feel like you, you, you don't want it. But child, again. Oh, and one more thing. One, one more thing I was about to say. Okay. So what puts the icing on the cake for me, what really makes me feel like Tessiki was not telling the entire truth, was because up until this point, Tessiki has called out multiple of Krishan's friends has called out multiple of her friends to fight her at the reunion, okay? She called out Scotty, and all Scotty did was say her name wrong, okay? And then she basically hinted at the fact that she was, that Scotty was going to get it at the reunion. And Scotty, of course, because she is, she is scary, punk hoe, okay? She turned down the bag. She said, baby, I did not mean to say your name like that. You know what I'm saying? I even asked the producers, da 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 no, so Scotty turned down the fade. And DJ Sky, all DJ Sky posted, I promise y'all, all DJ Sky posted was, I'm, I, she said she basically was hinting towards the fact that she was more booked and busy than the entire cast. Baby, when I tell y'all, Tessiki was so quick to be like, baby, I'm, I'm going to do you at the reunion. Because you said that, and it's not a valid reason to fight. <laughs> it's just not. You know what I'm saying? Like, baby, it's, it's something underlying going on. Because both times that she tried to fight both Scotty and DJ Sky were over the smallest reasons. And they just so happened to be Krishan's friends. So, child, y'all let me know how y'all feel. Y'all let me know if y'all feel like Smiley actually did that or if y'all feel like Tessiki is not telling the truth. Ciao, but that is all I have for y'all today. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on that post notification bell so you know every single time I post a new video. It's Messy Maya. It's the Messy Mob. I'm out this hoe. Bye!